2020 played with all of our emotions in a myriad of ways, real estate included. It was a crazy year that we didn't really know what was going to happen. Fast forward to today in 2021, and really the things just kept coming. High prices, crazy buyer tactics, the summer was insane. So why don't we do a little bit of a recap on what happened this year with my team, the real estate market here in Orlando, and some of the stories that you guys love. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the Orlando real estate market year over year. The crazy thing is that in December of 2020, the average sales price for homes in Central Florida was $319,000. This is now up to $383,000, which is an exact 20% increase year over year on the average and median sales price. If you look at the average time it takes to sell a house this year compared to last year, it was 48 days to sell your house last year. Right now it's somewhere around 26 days according to our MLS. And so average days on market have come down, pricing has gone up. Well, let's talk about inventory. This time last year, we had almost 6,000 homes for sale. And that was actually pretty decent. Uh, there were enough homes that you could get into. It wasn't the frenzy that we saw over the summer. Well, as of today, we have about 3,900 homes for sale, which is a 40% decrease in inventory. And so you have fewer homes to look at. Things are a little bit more expensive, which is really why new construction continues to dominate here in Central Florida. And that's why I think it will, as long as the supply chain kind of gets figured out uh, sometime, which I don't really think it's going to in the next year, but uh, that will help kind of quell some of the crazy inventory and pricing things that we're seeing. So there's a, there's a new foxtail in Horizon West near my house. Obviously there's one, there's, they're everywhere, right? Yeah. And so I'm still drinking Starbucks because yeah. they still haven't called me to give there's me a sponsorship. A wasp, sorry, it was like right near you. Oh. They should call me. Come on, call me. Anyway. Let's get, it's See, my, it's I don't my, know what you're going. filming. All right, so should we, should we play? Should we shoot guys, a go of ahead. You guys shoot it up. Shoot it up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're putting out new videos every single week. What are you waiting for, Jay? You know what I'm waiting for. So I've got a couple stats for you for our YouTube channel and really the videos that you guys helped make a success this year. It was amazing to see the content that you guys engaged with and the content that you guys didn't engage with. Like we rode a helicopter and nobody cared, but we did these YouTube lives and you guys show up week after week and ask amazing questions. I've got to know our community on a deeper level and it's been so amazing to see. Looking at kind of like where people are watching from, I pulled some stats from the back end of YouTube. We had 31 million impressions on our video over 2 million views coming from 98 videos from 49 countries. And to me, that's so cool looking at the people from the UK, Germany, Russia, Brazil, Canada, just all over the world. You guys tuned in and engaged with our content absolutely means the world. Take a look at some of our favorite videos from this year. All right, ready? I got it now. Ready? Right, so today we're changing it up. If you like this, make sure you hit that like button and let us know in the comments below. It's something I'm kind of excited about. Oh, like an expert. What would it take to find the most insane, most expensive Airbnb in all of Orlando? I think I might've found it. Come on inside, look at this. So we've got a two story game room with kind of unlimited things to do. You wanna see what $16 million gets you in Miami? Stay tuned. Louie, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, Ken. <laughs> One of the other things I love about living in Florida is there's just unlimited things that you can do. There's a lot of cool places coming here because there's massive growth in our area. Today, we're gonna run down a list of things that you need to know. So what, is, uh, what, is, what does magic mean to you? We're gonna run into the top seven most Instagrammable places in all of Orlando. <laughs> no? <laughs> 2021 was also an amazing year for the growth of the Posit Group, which is my team here in Orlando, our real estate team. And it was so cool to see. Two years ago, we were just three people. And then in 2020, when we went to seven, and this year we're at 21 people helping us from content creation to the back end media stuff to sales and operations. It's just been a lot of fun growing this team with an amazing set of people that are helping you guys buy and sell all over Central Florida. And so we couldn't do it without you guys. So if you're looking to buy or sell a 
house anywhere in Central Florida. My team and I, we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. Make sure you reach out at info at posetgroup.com and we'll make sure to take care of you. Now I have to go to run. I've got to go to a holiday party with these amazing people. So we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, everyone say Opa. Opa!